Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome back to Let's Play Nakayama Miho no Tokimeki High School! We're back at the cafe where we talk to Miho one last time. And this time around, we're going to go for the good endings. There's Well, there's actually one, but there's two different variations of it. So if you want to know exactly how to do both variations, well, you're about to find out. Once again, the game has to load into the conversation screen with Mio. And it's just the same three before the four. So B is delightful, but it's hopeless. And once you pick that, you pick the angry emotion, which is this one. And for your next choice, pick A, but I've been glad to really meet you. And choose the normal emoticon, which is the one that you're already on. And for the next choice, pick B. Are you saying you're not sure? And once again, when you pick B, pick the normal emoticon, which is the first one. This is where the fork in the road for the good endings happen, and to do, to do the uh, red ribbon endings, or the good ones, you're going to have to do the fork a little differently than we did last time. So for this one, pick B. Truthfully, I don't like you. This will be explained, don't worry. And when you pick B, pick the first motion, which is the normal one. And then she starts crying a little bit, and... For your next choice, pick A. Sorry, I mean to say I love you. And when you pick A, be sure to pick the sad emotion, which is the fourth one. And Miho stops tearing up. But sadly, this ends the same way. With the... Well, okay, not yet. Okay, there's still some speech to go through. Alright, here we go. Pick B. We should go our separate ways. And when you pick B, pick the sad emotion, which is the fourth one, again. And this basically kinda ends the story a little bit, but this starts, does get a little more different from here on in. Once you get past all the text here, which is basically the same as the blue ribbon ending, you're going to have one more option, but thankfully it's the only one in the command command menu. It should be showing up any second now, I believe. And there it is. Pick that one. Hero will listen to his own selfishness. And with that, Miho closes his, her eyes, and then you have to change sides on the disc. When it loads, you finally get the kiss in the middle of Christmas Eve, which is where the last scene takes place. Press A twice to get out of this. And you'll be back at the loading screen. Finally, we, we got the ending that we wanted. And you'll have to change the disc side again. We go through this. And just like in the blue ribbon ending, the prin vice principal, the principal, and your classmates all talk to you before the next screen, and it's basically more or less the same dialogue as before, so it, it doesn't really seem that much different. Until you reach the end, which we're going to reach shortly. So yeah, in case you're wondering when it's going to be different, you just just get through all this first.
And once again, I'm taking my time with the dialogue, so in case you know Japanese and you want to read it, you can. And Masami should be showing up anytime now. There he is. Finally, we can get through this. Finally, this is the end of the dialogue. So, with that, you get a different phone number than what you did in the blue ribbon ending. And it ends the same way, but you don't look back at your memories with Miho. Instead, you change the disc side one more time. And when that happens, well, you're going to see why. Turns out, there's a scene at the rooftop of the school. Don't select any options. Just let just let the game sit there and watch as the sky turns from purple to pink to a light reddish orange. It won't take long, and you'll eventually... Eventually, meet Miho, who is disguised as Mizuho again. I'm guessing you've agreed to meet her on the rooftop. So now the game loads. And one last conversation face to face with Miho. Thankfully, there are no choices to go through this time. The main gameplay that you have to deal with is pretty much done here now, so yeah, just go ahead and run through the dialogue. She's sad that it has to be have become this way. And then it's time to chain the disc one last time. Really. So many disc side changes here. Going back and forth between sides A and B. But when you switch sides, you'll find out that the paparazzi are coming for her. Apparently they've been able to see who through her disguise as normal high school student Mizuho and they're coming for her and you. Which is not a very good thing. And you and Miho do the sensible thing and run. But as you go through the dialogue, you're going to notice that the paparazzi are going to get closer, and so will the fans. And as long as you keep running, they're just going to keep getting closer and closer. And Miho trips and falls, and you have to pick her up. But by that, by by that time, the whole the whole throng of people have gotten close enough to you that well, they could basically do anything that crazed fans would do at this point. But all of a sudden, a man on a motorcycle appears, and he stops. And apparently, I guess he wants to help us get away. And after you press A, he takes off his motorcycle helmet and it's Mas it's Masaomi If you waited for me for Miho after you walked her home from school, you get Masaomi. And he basically takes this on to say, Hey, get on, I'll get you away from all these guys. And the hero's not even gonna argue with that. And so after pressing A, you get the credits. But there is a way to change the ending a little bit. After the part where you agree to walk Miho home from school, and you talk to Erica and the Typhoon Trio as well as Masami once again, 
you get you have options, but there's more than one correct option. You can actually do something else besides use the wait command, which is the third one, to wait for Miho three times. Choose the first one instead, and you'll enter the classroom and Sadakichi's the only one there. Pick the fourth option. And well, there's only one option in here, so go ahead and use it. I guess it's the photo of Miho, I'm not sure, but yeah, use it on him twice. Second time's just the same as the first, and I guess he'll just pocket the photo. Because it doesn't appear in your inventory anymore after that, like it did in the rest of my LP. And then you can finally use the second option to talk to him. When you talk to Sadakichi, he'll ask you if you want to help him clean his bike after school. Choose the first option to say yes. And Sadakichi will be delighted that you're helping him, and you'll be more than delighted to help him. But then you realize, wait a minute, I'm supposed to be waiting for Miho, and as soon as you duck back into the quarter, she'll be there. And the game goes on as normal. When you make your way to the end, It, everything will be as it is, but when the guy on the motorcycle takes his helmet off, it's not Masami, it's Sadakichi instead. And he's the one who helps you save you and Miho from the throngs of J pop idol fans. And with that, that's basically both variations of the ending. I'm gonna shut up due to the credits because nobody's ever posted them and I want them to be enjoyed so yeah shutting up due to credits enjoy
And there you have it, folks. The credits of Nakayama Miho no Tokimeki High School. Once you press start after the credits, the game loads and it takes you back to the title screen. Now, when you press start, just like before, there will be a present with a ribbon wrapped around it on the next screen. But instead of a blue one indicating you got the bad ending, you get a red one meaning that you got the good one. Which is what we want. And that's it for this game. I have one more video that talks about the point of this game, the whole contest behind it, and basically the significance of the game. So join me next time when I talk all about that. Until then, this is Prince Watercrest. Take care. Stay safe. Thanks for watching.